hello students welcome to eternal easy education in this session you are going to learn chapter 11 database concepts content of this video is types of dbms users difference between dbms and rdbms so what are the types of dbms users what is the full form of dbms database management system so it's a software it's going to manage the database then what is a database database is a collection of tables is it clear so what are the types of users database administrators database administrators are dba we can call it in short as dba is the one who manages the complete database management system so who is the head of dbms dba database administrators dba takes care of the security of dbms managing the license keys managing user accounts and access so what is the role of a database administrator he is the manager a uh, head of the dbms and he has to manage the license keys user accounts and access permissions so everything is in the hand of the dba database administrator next one is the application programmers or software developers this group this user group is involved in developing and designing the parts of dbms so he is responsible for giving the authority but this application programmer or the software developer is responsible for developing or designing the dbms what is the designing means if it is a school or a college the tables are related with the students department library lab like that if it is of bank then type of the account loan section jewel loan section likewise there are many things so they have to design the table and the attributes and the uh, and the relationship between the tables everything is designed by the software developers then end user end user all pro, all modern applications web or mobile store user data yes we know in our mobile also we are storing data in our computer also we are storing data applications are programmed in such a way that they collect user data and store the data on dbms system running on the server so the end user that means the person who is the who is using the particular software is unaware of the dbms system which is in the background for example online shopping or the internet banking both are example for handling the dbms if you are purchasing something in a amazon or any online shopping you will search a particular thing you will type the name of the uh, thing on the search bar if it is a keyboard you will type as you will type as keyboard and you will get set of the result where the results are stored and from which it is shared we don't know but background there is a database management system which is maintaining all the datas in the amazon so the end users or the one who store retrieve update and delete data but they don't know where the dbms is stored but we easily add a uh, thing to our cart we delete it sometimes we will even get our ordered things after 6 months also everything is stored there am i right so deleting adding updating we can change the delivery address everything is done by us we are easily clicking a mouse clicking a option using the mouse and doing but we don't know the coding behind it and uh, we don't know which database management system is maintaining those datas okay then database designers they are responsible for identifying the data to be stored in the database 
for choosing appropriate structure to represent and store the data so the database designers are responsible for identifying the data to be stored in the database for choosing appropriate structures to represent the represent and store the data so here the software programmers will have a overall developing and designing parts of dbms here the database designers will uh, identify the data to be stored for example if it is a, a student report means um, student name as address identification marks now we are having other number ems number even we are uploading the photo likewise he is designing all the things so who are the types of users in dbms four are here one is a database administrator another one is software developers another one is end user next one is database designers so you can easily learn these things for three mark questions next what is the difference between dbms and rdbms so dbms database management system then what is rdbms do you remember our data model what are the types of data model what are the types of data model object there are five types of data model am i right Hi hierarchical relational network database er model next one is object model so five types of data model are there okay among the five types if the database is based on the relational data model then it is said to be rdbms relational database management system so it is a normal dbms but it is relational dbms why it is relational it is going to have relation between the tables that is the first difference we'll see one by one first one is expansion that is it is only dbms here it is relation uh, that is the full form dbms database management system this is relational database management system next one is data storage navigational model that is data by linked records here it is relational model that is data in table as rows and column next it is uh, data redundancy exhibit that means duplicate data may appear here it will not appear it will not allow duplicate data next normalization this is the technique based on which the redundancy is reduced so here normalization is not performed here normalization is used both the two points are interlinked next data access consumes more time here faster compared to dbms yes while we are retrieving some data from the dbms it takes more time but here it is faster then keys and indexes what is keys this this is a concept based on which the relation between the table is maintained foreign key super key candidate key many keys are there so we, you will learn the keys in 12th uh, 12th chapter so have a idea what is key key and indexes are used to indexes are used to fetch the data easily keys are used to make the relationship between the tables here it is not used here it is used then transaction management inefficient error prone and insecure that means transaction means if a data is retrieved if a data is deleted uh, if the data is fetched concurrently then transaction management is not that much efficient it is inefficient but here it is efficient and secure next distributed databases here distributed databases concept is not supported here it is supported then example for dbms is dbase and fox pro example for rdbms is sql server oracle mysql mariadb sqlite 
so are many things are here you in the 12th chapter you are going to learn one of this let's wait and learn database normalization was first proposed by ef card as an integral part of rdbms in order to reduce da data redundancy and improve data integrity these rules are known as ef card rules note down this for one word so we learned the difference between the dbms and rdbms it's also only theoretical part and it is a uh, important five mark also if it is a five mark you can easily fetch a point fetch more marks because uh, it's easy to remember okay children that's all for this session thank you have a good day